All right, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hellaway Fun Sky 913 GPS drone. So let's open this case and, and check it out. I am very impressed with this case. You know, this is a real, real nice touch. Uh, one extra uh, good thing that it does with it is that it'd be almost impossible to damage this thing in, in shipping because this thing is so sturdy. You know, it's not going to fold down like a house of cards like those boxes do. This thing is sturdy as can be. You have to excuse me, I have like a cold or some kind of bronchial infection going on, so I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm going to rough it out here. Um, it comes with a manual right here, and the manual is very detailed. Very detailed. I was very impressed with the manual. It just has everything you need to get going with this thing. It's very well laid out. Even though the app isn't, <laughs> the manual is. The app's in Chinese, but the manual is good. Gives you your uh, QR code in it. You hit it and it just goes right there and gets it. So it's real nice. Tells you all about the battery, the SD card slot. Um, you know, all the calibration stuff. It's really, it's real simple. How to lock and unlock the battery. And it says here it has a, a smart battery in it too. It has a 1500 milliamp hour 7.7 .7 volt. So it has um, a discharge management in the battery. So that means if you charge it up before winter and you never get out, it'll discharge itself probably down to like GJIs do it like what is it, 50%, 40% or whatever. So that's that's a pretty good deal there. Not many cheap quadcopters go that route. Heck, none of Uniques do, so. Because my Mantis battery is shot because it didn't, I didn't discharge it enough. So it blew up. So that's really ticking me off to no end. I only got to fly it like four times. So I don't even know if I'll buy another battery. Anyway, here's the battery right here. It's pretty nice. Let's get the quadcopter out. And there it is. How slick that looks. I got the yellow one. I think there's a few colors. The red, I think. And I think there's a white one. Let's put the battery in here. All you do is you line these pins up right, right there, and then you push it in like so, and it just slides over there, and then you lock it with this little lock right here. Right there's the little lock, and you click it up, and then there's the power button. Now right there's the micro SD slot, right there, and you put it in. Right there it is. And you put the, with the pins up, facing up. That's so how you put it in there. There's the four brush, brushless motors. The motors look like, they're smaller than the sparks it looks like. But it has the tri-blades on it, you know, makes it a little bit more stable. Like the JME. Yeah, these, these motors look like the size of the uh, fairy drone. Like the fairy drone motors. And they give you a screwdriver in here. There's a the transmitter. The transmitter seems a little cheap compared to the rest of the unit. It's It's got its own built-in battery, but it the battery, I mean, the thing is extremely light. Like, the battery is very small, so you might not get a lot of flights out of it. So every time you charge the quadcopter, you better charge this, too, because this has a... Um, micro USB cable here to charge that also and then you got this you know little bag here of the USB cable and then two spare props so that gives you uh, one crash okay <laughs> two props one crash <laughs> and then you're done for your history let's weigh this up let's turn the scale on 
and weigh this up. 214.2. Now here's the spark. And that is 304. Now I don't have anything extra on the spark. So that's 304. And that's 214. And then there's the size comparison of them. You want to look at it right like that. So, yeah, they look pretty close to the same size, but the weight, of course, you got the quality, more quality stuff in there, so, from DJI. But anyway, it looks good, man. I mean, it really looks cool. There's the camera, which is tiltable, I believe, manually. Yeah, right like that. Can tilt it up or down. I will just keep it in the middle for my flight. Now, just let me show you uh, something with the um, turning it on and calibrating it and uh, all that mumbo jumbo. So, to turn it on, you just hit the power button right here. Then there's the power button right there for the uh, transmitter. So we're going to wait there and wait till we can grab the app. Now there's no password for the app. You can just go right on there. It's called Hellaway 1080p. So then you just go find the app, which is right here. Hellaway GPS, that's what it's called. Then you have two quadcopters to choose from. You just go to that one and hit this Chinese writing right here. You know, it goes always has to go that way. The, on this app, the, the screen will not reverse. So I will show you how clear the video is on the app. Now you don't have to have a micro SD card in there when you're recording. It'll record right to the phone. But it also record right to the uh, micro SD card, so you're probably going to get 1020 on the or 1080p on the SD card, and maybe 720p recording just to the phone. But if you forget your uh, SD card, you'll still be able to shoot video. Up here is where your satellites are, or how many you got. There's your battery percentage. There's your options. You see, they're all in Chinese. You know, so that's great. I haven't been able to figure out what it is for English, but you know. That's it. There's your takeoff, and then here's your... It doesn't have much features like follow me stuff and all that, but it has these gestures, which are just gimmicks to me. And then it has a VR button, so I don't really care about that stuff anyway. It has a return to home, as long as you calibrate it the first time at the park or wherever you're going to fly it, you know, you shouldn't have any problem with that. Now, to set the... Uh, to calibrate the IMU, that takes a little bit of time. That's about a 30 second deal. So you want to do that and get that over. So I'm going to show you that whole IMU calibration, the whole thing, the whole process right now. What you want to do is you want to hit this, hold this function key in, and then when it beeps, hit the sport button. I'm going to show you right here. Okay, now that's flashing. Now you hit the sport button. Now everything on the quadcopter will start flashing. The blue and then the red in the front. See them? Now it takes about 30 seconds to calibrate the IMU. Don't bump the quadcopter while this is happening. Make sure it's level and completely still. Yes, it is boring watching the IMU calibration. Okay, now it's done. Now the function button is still is still going if you wanted to do the uh, calibrate the compass. 
which I'm not going to do because it's real simple. All you have to do is turn it one time. You hit that, and instead of hitting the sport mode button, you hit the GPS button because I'm not going to do it in here, okay? So you hit the GPS button, then you just turn it counterclockwise one time, then you turn it down, and then turn it counterclockwise one time. And the lights will change color the first time you do it, and then the second time you do it, they'll, then they'll change. So that's it. It's, man, it's easy as pie, okay? And then one thing I'm going to tell you about this thing, it's very quiet, okay? It's very, very quiet. You're going to hear it because I'm going to fire it up right here inside so you can hear it. Let me put it down here on the floor. Oh. You have to turn the GPS off, of course. There it goes. Man, that thing is quiet as can be. Wow. Shocking, actually. When you're messing around with these sticks here to get it to take off in the Addy mode, you I don't know exactly what the combination is to do it. I just, you know, just go down and out, down and in, you know, a couple of times, and it seems to start the motor. So I don't really know what the correct procedure is for it, but... If you just do that a couple times, it'll it'll do it. It'll work. Okay, it's in the Addy mode now. Because, of course, we're inside, so there's no GPS lock. Yeah, listen how quiet that sucker is. Man, that is nice. Real nice. I'm impressed. That sucker was quiet as can be, man. I mean, seriously. Hell, we'll turn on the spark. And I'll cut those videos back and forth so you can hear the difference. I think, I'm pretty sure the spark is a hell of a lot louder, okay? My, my guess is going to be the spark is a little louder. And I forgot my little, my little gauge but I don't need it yeah the spark is way louder than that thing by far that thing's about as quiet as the as the in office okay Right, guys there you go the hell away 913 this is I think this is going to be a winner for them man at the price point they brought this in with the camera the camera looks very clear now you know it doesn't have the image stabilization and all that crap on there but for a little GPS quad with brushless motors I think they brought it in at like 130 something dollars I mean wow you can't beat that I mean, just think if uh, Rise would have did this that made the Tello like this. How much better that uh, Tello would have been. So, yeah, this thing is going to be a winner, I think. But we'll have to see when we get out and fly it. So we have to see if it <laughs> goes all the hell in a handbasket. But we're going to hope that it does not. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's it for the uh, Hellaway Fun Sky 913 GPS drone. Have a nice day. I'm going to go take some medicine. Okay. Bye-bye.